Hello guys, I'm here to keep you company again this weekend. Uh, my name is uh, Joseph AGK Oji, and um, like I said, I will keep you company for this uh, few minutes. Today, our topic will be permutation and uh, combination. Um, before we start, let me say that I, I hope you are enjoying your weekends. Uh, is a, a very warm weekend, the kind of weekend uh, that you like to go out and you know and have some fun. Anyway, uh, enjoy yourselves and uh, let us start. Uh, before we can understand the concept of permutation and combination, we first of all need to understand what we call the factorial notation. Now, so the factorial notation, we, are, we write an, a number or a letter, then followed by uh, what we call the exclamation mark. See the exclamation mark here? It means factorial. So, now, if I say an n factorial, it means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3. So, it keeps going down. For example, if I say 4 factorial, it means 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that gives us 24. I hope that makes sense. I'm sure it does. So um, if I say 5 factorial, it means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That gives us uh, 120. Uh, so, and also if I say 7 factorial, going to be 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 that gives us 50, 5040 so you keep going now if I say 20 factorial that means you're gonna keep counting till you get 20 times 19 times 18 times uh, 17 that's a lot of work uh, and if I say 40 factorial you can imagine how big and how time time consuming that would take us. But the good thing is that in this world of technology, nobody needs to suffer like nobody needs to subject themselves to that kind of suffering. So I have this simple calculator that I use, very cheap and very simple. And you can use it to figure this out. Let me show you. And uh, let's say I want to get four factorial. I'm gonna mod put here, put my four. Oh, let me open it first oh, and clear all this okay i'm gonna put four then i'll go here see what you have here prb i press it you see this number this this uh, very this uh, formula has come out but the one i'm looking for the one that have the factorial the exclamation mark so i'm gonna go there and press enter key you see i have my four factorial here, right here I say if I press enter key again, it give me the answer right there. That's what we got here. Okay. So, which means that if I want to get some factorial, I can simply do the same thing. I press my seven, and one more time I go to this PRB. I press it. Go to this place where I have the exclamation mark. That means the factorial symbol. I go here and press it. after. Uh, press the enter key and press it again. I got 50, 40. That's what I have here. So you can see that this uh, actually simplified the problem for us. Okay. Um, having explained the concept of factorial, I can now go ahead and, you know, do an example or two on this um, permutation. Now, when we talk about permutation, permutation is simply means the arrangement of objects in a specific order. I call it the N objects in a specific order. Eventually, I'm, I will explain to you how this can be applied uh, in a few minutes. And the formula is this. N permutation X equals N factorial divided by N minus X factorial. Uh, let us do a few examples on that. It says here, evaluate the following 10 permutation 4 and 12 permutation 
3. Let's start with the first one, is then permutation 4. So, um, so that the 10 P4, here our N is 10, and our X is 4. So we put it right here, 10 partition 4, it becomes 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 4 factorial. Now 10 factorial remains 10 factorial. 10 minus 4 factorial means 10 minus 4 is 6, I mean 6 factorial. So with this, we can just figure it out on your calculator. Using the same method that I showed you, I have 10 factorial, I'm going to do 10 Okay, I'm going to go here like before, PRB, I'll go to factorial, okay, I'll press it, divided by 6 factorial right here, okay, 6, okay, I'm going here, go here, okay, so you can see 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial, you can see right here, after I got here, so once you press the enter key, Okay, that will give me the answer right that way. 54 is right here. See? Now, actually, actually, there is even an easier method for doing this. There is a very easier method for doing this. That means to put the combination from the right away. So I'm just go here and say um, 10 factorial 10 uh, P4. I press this place, which you have here, PRB, and you see the um, permutation symbol is out. So right there. So I'm going to press it, then put 4 here, okay, and then press the Enter key. Give me the answer right away. See? There. Very easy, right? <laughs> I know you. I know it's easy. So we can follow the same method here on the second one, where we have... 12 permutation 3. In that case, our n is 12 and our s is 3. So we have it 12 permutation 3 becomes 12 factorial divided by 12 minus 3 factorial. So instead of doing all this, instead of doing all this, you can just put this right away. Once you have this part, your professor will know that you are showing your work. So after that, you can, you can forget about this part and just put this on your calculator. So I have 12, okay, 12, so there. then I put the PRB, and this is the um, permutation symbol right there. I press enter key, and I press 3. 3, uh, 3 is right there. Press the enter key again. That gives me an answer right away, 1320, just 1320. Very easy. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure you're having fun now. Okay, so let us um, look at it, how we can apply this to a real life situation. Okay, how do we apply this to real life situation? In maths, if you cannot apply it uh, to real life situation, what's the point? So let's see. It says here that um, a TV news director wishes to use three news stories on an evening show. One story will be the local lead story and one will be the second story, and the last will be the closing story. So you can see that there's a particular order, there's a specific order. One will be the local lead story, one will be the second story, and the last will be the closing story. See? So if the director has a total of eight stories to choose from, how many ways can the program be run, be set up? See? He wished to select uh, to, to use three new stories. So our X is three. And he's selected from eight stories. So our N is eight. So no, the number of ways become eight permutation three. Which gives us eight factorial divided by eight minus three factorial. Now you can press this on the calculator. Okay. Um eight. You go to the PRB right here. Uh, this is the um, permutation symbol here. See, so press OK. Uh, right, they have enter key and then press the 3 here. And the 3 is right here. Enter key again. I mean, 3, see, you can see the 3 36 ways, which is 3 36 ways. 
I can do this. I'm sure you are enjoying it so far. <laughs> All right. So let's try another one, uh, a different type. Now, this time, combination. Now, the difference between combination and permutation is that in a combination, there is no regard to order. It can be in any order. But permutation, there have to be a specific order. That is the difference. And this is the formula for uh, combination, a slight difference. N combination x equals n factorial divided by x factorial times n minus x factorial. Let's try it. Say, evaluate this. 30 combination 7. So I have it right there. In this case, n is 30 and x is 7. So 30 combination 7 is 30 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 30 minus 7 factorial. Now, like I said, if you once you have this part, your professor will know that you are showing your work. So all you have to do now is to put this in the calculator. I'll just put this and then that will give you the answer right there. So I have um got 30 factorial, I have 30. Go to PRB right there. PRB area. Okay. You can see this combination. This is what this one is for permutation. But this one here is for combination. You can see right there. So that's so you go there. Right there. Press the enter key. And then enter seven. Okay, seven. Which is right there. Seven right there. Press the enter key again. Give me two zero three. 5 is zero, zero. that's what I got here. See? So, um, if you follow the same method for part B, you will see the same thing. 12 combination 8. We will have that N is 12 and S is 8. So, 12 combination 8 becomes 12 factorial divided by 8 factorial times 12 minus 8 factorial. Now, again, putting this on the calculator, we have 12 at the top. 12 right here I go to PRB I go to the combination symbol right here this one right here okay I press the enter key is there and press the 8 okay give you 495 right there so let me tell you this that this key is different from every cal every calculator have their own symbol for this key so you have to figure out this where this key is located in your calculator by reading the manual the manual that comes with your calculator when you bought it okay let's see how we can apply this it says a bicycle shop owner has 12 mountain bicycles in the showroom um the owner wishes to select five of them to display at the bicycle show how many different ways can a group of five be selected so this that means in any order there's no specific order here so in that case what you're gonna do is to use a combination method so you have n is 12 and s is 5 so 12 um, combination 5 will be 12 factorial well, five, excuse me let me see yep I've times divided by 5 factorial times 12 minus 5 factorial. Now, this is where your phone, uh, your, your calculator becomes hand again. 12, go to PRB right here. Go to the combination symbol right here. Enter key. Then next is 5. See, 5 factorial. So, 5 factorial. Enter key. Get 792 ways which is right here so i hope you enjoy these things now let me say this the combination these parts can be used to calculate the probability of an event so in my next example in my next lecture i will show you how to use this combination to calculate the probability of winning a lottery jackpot uh, thank you for listening i hope you enjoyed my lecture today and um, i'll see you again here in my next lecture thank you bye bye